What's going on good people of YouTube? In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to fix your heavy duty stapler, specifically the Aero Model T50P, Aero Fasteners, correction. Let's get to it. The reason I feel compelled to make this video is because, especially the newer generations out there, Whenever something stops working, breaks, whatever, has a malfunction, especially if it's a lower priced item, they typically throw it away. Now, keep in mind, I don't give it, you know, take for granted, a lot of things now uh, made nowadays that are really low quality, uh, especially overseas products, are what you would consider disposable and non-repairable. But there are a lot of things out there that are repairable that you could fix without much effort at all. And you can save, you can do a couple different things, achieve a different couple things. You're saving money and you're actually accomplishing something by doing something yourself, which in return uh, makes you feel good inside. When you can take something and fix it and so you don't have to go buy a new piece. You know, for me personally, that gives me a, uh, a feeling of accomplishment, I guess. And I enjoy working with my hands and doing stuff like that. So this particular uh, staple gun broke on me. And I use it mainly for stapling targets up at the firing range. And that sucked. I, and on firing range, I didn't even bother with trying to fix it or anything. And I, to be honest, I did go out and buy another staple gun because I didn't know what would entail in fixing this. Plus, uh, tearing, breaking down a staple gun and trying to fix it wasn't high on my priority list at the time. But I eventually got some time and thought I would get give it a go at it. And lo and behold, I actually fixed it. So let me show you how I done it. Now when I, this first broke, I didn't pay much attention. I thought that these were rivets holding this together, uh, but in actuality, they are just pins. Except for well, these are rivets type fasteners, and there's actually a bolt with a nut. Uh, so they got different fasteners on here, but to get inside. You really just need this uh, to take these two pins out. Go ahead and take the spring out of here. And you see, I've already got, uh, I didn't, I put one retaining clip back on. And I left one off because I knew I was going to take them off again. And you don't need any punches. Uh, well, I didn't. If you've got some, you might want to. Uh, you might have to use it, but uh, they're not in there that tight. There's not much pressure on them. But you first want to take these clips off. And these little clips are called E-clips. And to take them off, you don't, you got to be careful because you can damage them. They're just really thin, uh, thin metal. And be careful when doing this because you could also... Uh, Tuck a hole in your finger if you're not careful. But you just push on the sides of the back. Get to where you can push on the back of that E-clip. That comes off. Sorry. Push the pins through. That bottom one's in there. A little bit of tension on it. Yeah. One thing about stare at punches, good quality tools, but if you don't keep some type of rust preventative oil on there, that's what they'll look like. I need to dress these up a little bit. Yeah. It don't take any effort whatsoever to get those out. Like so. Once you take the pins out, this cover should slide off. I've got some factory schmoo in there. I'm trying not to let pieces go flying everywhere. But this is where my malfunction was at. I had the awfulest mess of bound up, kinked up, 
uh, jacked up staples you've ever seen in your life. It was totally locked up. Nothing would work or function. And when I took this cover off, I mean, you could literally see it just like, almost like you took a, a watermelon or something, dropped it off the entire state building, and it just mangled that staple all to pieces. It was totally flat, and it had just wedged its, it, it stopped all functions. <laughs> Basically, it wouldn't feed, it wouldn't staple, it wouldn't do anything. And I just took a uh, screwdriver and pried it out and uh, put it back together, and it works flawlessly. And that is an easy fix, guys. You can fix this stapler for in under uh, five minutes tops. So once you clear the malfunction, you just want to put, I really don't see any need in putting more schmoo in there. That's uh, just something that'll leak uh, if it gets hot and get on your car seat or something. I don't know. I don't really see the purpose in that, to be honest, unless it leaked from being greased in here I don't know so let's see and there for a minute I forgot which way this went on if you look right here there's cutouts it can only go on one way so Got that schmoo. Well, that's not schmoo. That's actual part of the gun. So, you just line your holes back up like that. And we'll put our pins back in. And they went in this side uh, foist. Oh! tripod sorry about that I'm a one take kind of guy I don't like redoing videos or editing a lot of stuff out of it if it happens in the in video or in life that's what happened okay our pins are in and seated and we just put on a little eclipse which I'm not going to lie can be a little bit of, of a pain if you don't hold your mouth just right let's see if I can uh, get this on the first go I can't even open the bag now what you want to do is get it lined up and you can tell how this holds its uh, tension goes into that little groove so Instead of a screwdriver, it'd be best to have something with a little more surface contact area, or like this punch. And just push it right on. And that one went on easily. The last one I put on was not that easy. I'll put this one on the top. Like so. That's it. Now we have repaired our staple gun and saved ourselves money in the process that was pretty easy fix wasn't it and i've seen these staple guns i believe when i looked online so i could tell you guys how much it cost i believe it was somewhere between 20 and 30 dollars we'll just say 25 bucks uh, so just putting in a little effort right there was saved saved us 25 dollars and she works good as new. If y'all have any questions, feel free to ask. And as always, y'all have a great day. I'll see you.